In today's video, I'll be placing every unit that's a toilet and then facing themselves as an actual toilet to see if they can beat themselves on endless mode in toilet tower defense. As you can see, all 13 of these toilets right here have versions of themselves as actual toilets. So they'll be facing against themselves on endless mode to see if they can beat themselves. I hope that makes sense. But make sure you watch until the end to see if we can beat the boss toilet 4.0. And subscribe so we get a 200,000 subs before the end of the year. We are literally 17,000 subs away right now, so please subscribe if you have not already. Anyway, let's hop into an endless match with the first unit, which we will be using, which is obviously the basic toilet. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm actually gonna run this command to freeze all toilets real quick. And what I'm actually gonna do is start off by placing it as a small toilet right here. And then what we're actually gonna do is spawn toilet, small toilet, Wave one health, one of them, one second delay, and yes, it is a boss. Now that it's spawning, we're gonna allow toilets to move once again, just like that. So let's see if we can actually take out one of them. And yeah, shocker, it can. Now we're gonna do a normal size toilet. So let's type in spawn toilet, normal toilet, wave one health, one second delay, and yes, it is a boss. Real quick though, before we spawn in, I'm gonna let all these normal ones move out of the way. And then we're actually gonna upgrade this guy to level 2. That way it's also a normal toilet. So yeah, now we can type in the command once again, just like this. And yeah, let's spawn it in to see if we can defeat it at 102 health. So yeah, any second now will be in range of it in 3, 2, 1, and it can defeat it. Let's go. Now let's finally upgrade it to the large toilet and spawn in a large toilet boss as well. So yeah, just like this, and yeah, there it is right there, 1,020 health on it. So hopefully we can get this guy as well. So yeah, in 3, 2, 1, and we got it. GG's. And honestly, since this toilet's kind of mid, I think we'll just move on to the next one. So yeah, on to toilet number 2. I'll have my editor put a checklist up on screen for whether or not each toilet can be all versions of itself. Because obviously, toilets like the boss toilet has four different versions. Just the regular boss toilet, version 2, version 3, and then version 4. So we definitely have to keep track of all four of them. But yeah, anyway, the basic toilet gets a check mark for all three. Now let's move on to the one uncommon toilet, which is obviously the camo toilet. But oh uh, yeah, let's just use this guy in game as well. Here we go. Again, we're gonna freeze all toilets just like last round, just like that. And then for now, we're actually gonna place this guy right about here. And I'm actually going to show you guys a toilet that you've probably never seen before. Me and my friend Purple were actually researching toilets that we could use for this video. And this really interesting one came up. So if I run this command exactly right here, it actually spawns in a toilet that you've probably never seen before. Which is this camo toilet looking guy. So yeah, I personally have never seen this before. But anyway, let's just allow toilets to move now and wait for it to finally be targeted. So yeah, I personally never knew that this toilet was actually in the game whatsoever. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we will be able to get it because it only has 51 HP. In fact, yeah, right about now we uh, got it. GG's. Anyway, next up we have actually have another version of it. But if we add ourselves some money, that would just like that. We can actually upgrade this guy a few times all the way to level 3. On level 3, we can spawn in the military rocket launcher toilet just like this. And this toilet right here kind of represents this one. So yeah, just time to wait for this guy to be targeted at last. I'll just see you guys once it does. So yeah, Willstar finally target taking its first bit of damage right about now. But uh, yeah, I would be pretty surprised if we were even able to get it. I mean, we'll see, I guess. We've already done 99% of its damage. Well, just kidding. Only 1%. But yeah, shocker. It is about to get by right about, uh, yeah, now. Let me, uh, just quickly delete this toilet right about, uh, now. But yeah, now we'll do its final form. I am gonna place it a little bit better right about here. Just so we can just fully max it out exactly like this. And yeah, as you can see, it has a beret on. So you can probably guess what we're gonna spawn in next. So, uh, yeah, shocker. We're gonna be spawning in the Ray Rocket Launcher Toilet, just like this. And, yeah, let's see if we can defeat this thing. Actually, I'm pretty sure it has the same hat on as well. Oh, wait, never mind. This one has, like, a sort of eagle-looking thing. Whereas it looks like this one has, like, a little crown star thing. But, yeah, just like last time, I'll see you guys once it's finally taken its first bit of damage. So, yeah, finally, we'll start taking its first bit of damage right about now. And it's gonna be taking about 2,000 damage a second. 
I unfortunately do not think that's gonna be enough to defeat all of this though, but we'll have to see. I mean, it is actually getting slowed down as well, which helps a ton, but uh, yeah, it is definitely not gonna be enough. I mean, we've only done about 10% of its damage, so yeah, we are definitely cooked here. In fact, yeah, this guy's finally gonna get by in 3, 2, 1, and uh, yeah, there it goes. Shocker. But yeah, on to the rare units, here we go. And obviously, there is actually two rares in total, but oh uh, yeah, don't mind this smooth toy right here. We'll talk about this guy a little bit later. I think for starters, we'll just do the scientist toilet, because obviously there's only one form of it that we can actually use. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Obviously, this guy does have 25 range when maxed out, so we'll probably place him right about here for now, and just instantly max him out exactly like that. And actually, hold up, I'm gonna place him a little bit better, maybe right here, let's see if this is any better. Okay, it's getting close, I think right about here should be perfect though. And yeah, that works for now. Obviously, this is basically the small scientist toilet, so that's exactly what we're gonna spawn in right now. And there it is right there with 122,000 health on it. So, uh, yeah, let's see if the small scientist toilet can beat itself, which is the small scientist toilet. But yeah, finally, we'll start taking its first bit of damage right about now. I'm actually kind of curious whether or not we'll be able to get it. I mean, we're gonna do a ton of damage to it for sure. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, though. I mean, it's already below 80%, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And yeah, we actually were able to get out at level 1. Let's go. That is actually the first time we've been able to get it. So now I might as well introduce what we're actually going to plan on doing later on. Later on, if it beats its level 1 version of itself, we're going to spawn in the wave 10 version now. So if I type in wave 10, one of them, one second delay, and yes, now it's actually the wave 10 version of itself. So yeah, let's see if we can beat this version now. So yeah, I doubt we'll be able to get this one though, unfortunately, as it does have about three times as much health as the last one. But I mean, you never know, we may just may be able to get it, we'll have to see. I mean, we've already gotten it to 75%, 50%, but yeah, unfortunately I don't really see us getting it anytime soon. So yeah, unfortunately the wave 10 version of itself is getting by, but uh, yeah, onto the second rare. And actually, real quick, I totally forgot to show the camo toilet checklist. So I'll just have my editor put both up on screen. As you can see, the camo toilet beat its normal self, but it failed to beat both the military rocket launcher toilet and the beret rocket launcher toilet. So it only got one checklist out of the three. And then as for the scientist toilet, it beat its wave 1 version self, but not the wave 10. So I got one check and one X. But yeah, now it's time for the second rare. For this one, it is obviously the Mafia Toilet. But this toilet in particular actually has another really interesting toilet that you've probably never seen before. There's just tons of toilets in the game that have never really been released. So yeah, time to show you guys this one as well. Here we go. For starters though, I think we'll place it right about here. But first, let me obviously give myself enough money to place it down. So yeah, that amount of money should be enough, and we'll just place it here. So yeah, just look at this one for starters real quick. And now we're actually going to spawn in a secret toilet that you've never seen. If I run this command exactly word for word, I mean, just look, you've never seen this toilet before. Just like the camo toilet. I mean, it's just a basic toilet just like the last one. But yeah, I've never seen this toilet before, before even researching. So yeah, definitely cool to see for sure. But obviously, we do have to wait a while before it's finally being targeted. In fact, let's just set it on strongest right now, and yeah, shocker, we already defeated it. Pretty easy for sure. But now let's actually sell this one and replace it right about here, and max out this one real quick as well. And yeah, as you can see, it has a toxic arm, so obviously it makes sense to do the toxic toilet. Here it is right here, with the toxic arm, the buzzsaw arm, and as you can see on this toilet, it has the exact same things, with the buzzsaw arm on the left, and the toxic arm on the right. So yeah, with doing 13,500 damage every 1.5 seconds, let's see if we can defeat it. It will finally be targeted right about now, so here we go. We've gotten it below 90%, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, but dang, it looks like it's just barely gonna get on by, unfortunately. GG's though. There's really not much else I can do about that. So, uh, yeah, on to the first epic. Here we go. So, yeah, here is the checklist for the Mafia Toilet. And it only beat its normal self, 
but lost to its final version. So yeah, it seems like a lot of these units just keep on losing to its final form. We'll have to see if it's the same way for the boss toilet. But yeah, on to our first epic and only epic, which is obviously the flamethrower toilet. And there's really not much else to say about this, guys, so yeah, here we go. Obviously, for this one, we'll start off with just placing it right about here. And yeah, let's just spawn in our boss. It is obviously the flamethrower toilet, so there it is right there with 100,000 health on it. So yeah, this guy definitely looks pretty similar to this one, only more so the face is different and the back is different. Everything else is practically the same though. So yeah, I'll just see you guys once it's finally being targeted. So uh, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. And yeah, here we go, finally it's being targeted at last. I highly doubt we'll be able to get it though, unfortunately, as it literally has 102,000 health on it, and we only do 200 damage every 0.2 seconds. But surprisingly, we've already gotten it below 70%, but yeah, as I said, this is definitely not going to be enough, unfortunately. We'll probably get it to around 50%, so yeah, there it goes. But yeah, definitely time to delete it for sure. And, uh, yeah, there it goes. Now let me resell it and place it right about here and max out this real quick. And obviously this is the Toxic Skull Toilet, so yeah, time to spawn in that exact boss as well. Obviously the barrels are a little bit different in color, but everything else is practically the same. So yeah, time to wait for this guy to be targeted at last. And here we go, it's finally about to start being targeted right about now. And yeah, we're doing 2,000 damage every 0.2 seconds this time. So yeah, it's not going to be a surprise that we will obviously get it. But now let's spawn it in with wave 10 health, just like this. And now it has 343,000 health. So yeah, let's see if we can defeat this guy as well. Here we go. So yeah, finally it's going to be starting to be targeted right now. And obviously it does have triple health, so it's a little bit tougher to defeat. But I still honestly think we'll be able to get it either way. In fact, yeah, we're gonna get it in 3, 2, 1, and there it goes. Now let's do wave 100 health, which is the final test that we'll be doing. So yeah, wave 100 health, one of them, one second delay, and yes, it is a boss. This has 13.7 million health on it, though. So yeah, I kind of doubt that we'll be, we'll, we'll be able to get it. It's just way too tanky as a boss. So yeah, finally it's starting to take its first bit of damage. But yeah, its grab is not moving whatsoever. We are so cooked, bro. Yeah, we've only done 1% of damage, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And yeah, we're not even probably even going to be able to do 10% of its damage. So yeah, that is definitely GG's for sure. Okay, wait, never mind. We just did exactly 10%. But yeah, on to our first legendary. Here we go. But yeah, time to do the checklist. It unfortunately failed its first version, but beat the wave 1 and 10 version, but then unfortunately lost to the wave 100. So yeah, I got 2 out of the 4, so I guess that's not too bad at all. But yeah, on to legendaries now. I think for now we'll start out with the rocket launcher toilet. So uh, yeah, here we go. For now, we'll place it right about here, and we're actually gonna get it all the way to level 3, I think. Oh, wait, no, not level 3, I think level 4. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, as you can see, it looks like this, which is exactly how we want it to look, because this toilet right here is exactly sort of what it looks like. I mean, it has four rockets just like this one, and yeah, already we're gonna be able to get it. GG's. But yeah, now if we actually max it out all the way, we can spawn in this toilet right here, which is basically a one-to-one -one version of it. But yeah, we're easily gonna be able to get this one as well. GG's. And now let's spawn it in with 10 wave health. So yeah, just like this, it now has 229,000 health on it, but either way, we should still be able to get it no problem. In fact, yeah, we're already gonna get in 3, 2, 1, and there it goes. But yeah, now we actually have the real test on it, which is wave 100 health. So yeah, this guy has 9.8 million health on it, but yeah, let's see if we can defeat it for sure. I honestly think it's definitely possible because of how massive of a range it has, but we'll have to see. We've officially done 5% of damage to it, 10%, and yeah, never mind, I definitely take my word back for it. There is no way we get the wave 100 boss for sure. 
So yeah, it's just about gonna get by in a few seconds now. And we're probably just barely even gonna be able to do 15% of damage if to it in total. But luckily we did do about a million damage in total to it, so I guess I can't really complain too much at all. But yeah, there we go, it's taking its first and last little bit of damage, so yeah, GG's. On to the second legendary. But real quick, let's do the checklist for this guy as well. Version 2, version 3, but unfortunately lost to version 4. So yeah, I got 3 out of the 4 completed, so I guess that's not too bad at all. On to legendary number 2 though. Obviously for this one we do have the airplane toilet, so let's see exactly how far we can get with this guy. Here we go. And obviously there is only one version to it, so we'll just place it in the exact same spot as last time. And honestly, let's just instantly max it out. But yeah, time to spot in the airplane toilet at wave 1 health, and yeah, obviously we're gonna instantly get that one. Now let's do the wave 10 health, just like that, and now it's 57 health, and yeah, instantly we're gonna be able to get it just like, uh, but now wave 100 health, and this is definitely when it's gonna start getting really tough. That's 2.2 million health on it, and yeah, bro, it's not even targeting it, what the heck? Bro, walk on over to it, what are you doing, bro? We've done 80%, 70%, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and hold up, this actually might be the first one to do it, let's go! The airplane toilet is officially the first toilet to be in all of its versions. Just for fun though, we'll do wave a thousand health, just like that. And oh hell no! Look how much health that guy has, bruh! That's 1.2 quadrillion health in total. Obviously, we, we will not be able to get it whatsoever, so yeah, let's just move on to the final legendary. But yeah, real quick, let's just say that it'd be every single one on the checklist, so that was definitely good for sure. Obviously, though, we do have the final legendary, which is the DJ Toilet. But yeah, this one is definitely gonna be very tough, especially for its final four. Either way, though, let's just see if we can defeat it. Here we go. First, let me just add myself a little bit of money, just like this. And for now, we'll just place it down exactly right here. And obviously, we do need to spawn in version 1 of itself, which is this, the basic DJ toilet, with 510 health on it. So yeah, time to wait for it to finally be targeted. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So yeah, any second now, we'll start finally being targeted, and yeah, instantly we were able to get it. Shocker. Now let's place it even better over this way, just like this. And now obviously we need to spawn in the DJ Toilet version 2. So if I type in this exact command right here, it'll spawn in the DJ Toilet version 2 with a million and twenty thousand health on it. So yeah, this guy's gonna be very tough to defeat for sure. Hopefully we're able to, but I kinda doubt it. We'll have to see though, I'll just see you guys once it's finally being targeted once again. So yeah, finally it is gonna start being targeted right away just like this. But the real test is whether or not we'll be able to get it. It actually does have a green laser attack just like this. So yeah, maybe just maybe we'll be able to get version 2 of it. It'll definitely be close if we do though. We've already gotten it below a fourth of its health and half of its health. And it's about halfway through the course as well. So maybe we will be able to get it. Like I said though, it's just going to be extremely close for sure. It's down to its last third of its health though. And fourth of its health now. And 5th, and 10th, and bro, we are actually so close. Come on, come on, come on, 5%, 4%, 3 Wait, what? Why is it not targeted? It's clearly in the range. What the heck? All right, bro, we're just gonna replace it over here. I'm counting this as a win, bro. I don't even care. This actually counts no matter what. That was clearly in the range, bro. Obviously, now we do have to do the wave 10 health, so I kind of doubt we'll be able to get it. We'll have to see it though, let's just spawn it in right away. And yeah, now it's 2.8 million health on it. So yeah, I'd be absolutely shocked if we were able to get this guy. But uh, yeah, I'll just see you guys once it's finally being targeted once again. So yeah, finally right about now, it is starting to be targeted once again. But yeah, now it's not doing nearly as much damage to it. In fact, now we finally got to the below 10%, 20%, 70%? But yeah, like I was saying, there was no way we're gonna be able to get this guy for sure. I mean, it just has way too much health on it. So, uh, yeah, GG's. On to the Mythics now. So obviously it was able to be version 1 of itself, and barely version 2, but it unfortunately could not be version 3. But for the first Mythic I want to show you guys, it's actually the Mutant Toilet. So yeah, we already have it equipped in, and now it's just time to show you guys it in-game. Here we go. Obviously on version 1, it's actually pretty small of a range, 
So for now, we'll just place it down right here. Now let's just spawn a new toilet version 1 right there. And it already has 8,000 health on it. So yeah, hopefully we can defeat this thing right away. I mean, it should be pretty obvious that we will be able to. So, uh, yeah, here we go. It's finally gonna start taking its first bit of damage right now. So now it's down to 5,000 health, 2,000 health, and just like that, we defeated version 1. On to version 2, though. First, let's just upgrade it to level 2 as well, just like that. And yeah, let's just spawn it in right away. So yeah, there's version 2 with 30,000 health on it. So let's see if we can defeat this toilet as well. I'm pretty sure we can literally one-shot it though, so it won't stand a chance whatsoever. So yeah, now it's finally gonna start walking up to it, and yeah, just like that, we defeated version 2. On to the final version though, which is obviously the Buzzsaw Mutant Toilet. So let's spawn this guy at 1 wave health, and this one has 61,000 health on it. And obviously, we will be able to one-shot it just like the last one right about now. And yeah, GG's. But now let's do wave 10 health. So yeah, this one actually has 170,000 health on it. But we should still be able to literally three-shot it easily. So yeah, it's already below. And yeah, there we go. I didn't even have time to speak. We already got it. Now it's time for the wave 100 health, which is the final test. But this one, though, has 6.8 million health on it. So let's just do a time-lapse of us trying to defeat it. Enjoy the time lapse for now. And dang, unfortunately, it does not look like we can get version 100 of itself. Though, uh, yeah, that's GG's. On to our next mythic, though. So, for the checklist, it was able to be versions 1, 2, 3, and 4, but unfortunately, lost to the wave 100 version of itself. So, yeah, honestly, not too bad whatsoever. I'll take it for sure. Either way though, now let's move on to the buff version of it, which is obviously the buff mutant toilet. So uh, yeah, let's use this guy in game next up. Here we go. Obviously there's only one version of it, so for now we'll just place it down exactly right here, and instantly max it out since it doesn't change in looks whatsoever. But yeah, we'll spawn buff mutant toilet right now on wave 1 health, and it already has 200,000 health on it. So yeah, hopefully we can get this guy. We'll set it on strongest as well. And yeah, now we're gonna absolutely hopefully shred through it just like uh, that. GG's. Now let's spawn in the wave 10 health of it, just like this. And now it has 572,000 health. But why is uh, bro walking like that? Oh hell nah. But we will be able to defeat it as soon as it gets hit one more time, just like that. Obviously now we do have to do the wave 100 health. So there's that spawned in. And just like the last one, we'll do a time ops of us trying to defeat it. Enjoy! So yeah, obviously the Wave 100 version of itself is definitely gonna get on by, as it still has about 17 million health on it still. We were able to get at least one-fourth of its damage out of the way though, so I guess that's not too bad at all. But uh, yeah, there it goes. On to the final Mythic though, right about now. So obviously the buff mutant toilet beat version 1 and 2, but lost to the wave 100 version, which is version 3. On to the final mythic though, which is surprisingly actually the smooth toilet. It says it's a rare, but it's actually equal with the mythics, meaning it would probably end up as a mythic. So uh, yeah, let's just use this guy in game right away. Here we go. Let me just give myself a little bit of money just like that, and I guess for now we can place it down exactly right here. And yeah, here is version 1 of itself. So obviously up first we do have the giant smooth toilet. Hopefully we can defeat this thing, as it literally has 306,000 health on it. It'll definitely be tough, but I think it may be possible. We'll have to see though. And actually it does look like on its second version of itself, it still has the same amount of stats, and it just looks the same. So I might as well just keep it as level 2. We did sort of place it a little bit bad though, but either way, we'll start finally taking damage right now, and we're already gonna get in 3, 2, 1, and there it goes. Let me just sell a little bit better, so we'll place it right about here, and max out this guy instead. But for version 2, it's actually the Toximune Twilight, just like the last few rounds, so hopefully we can defeat this one as well. I'll just see you guys once it's finally being targeted. Obviously, this guy does have a lot less health than the last one, so we will pretty clearly be able to get it right about now. But now it's spawning ten. But now it's spawning wave ten version of it. This one has four hundred fifty-eight thousand health on it. So again, I'll just see you guys once it's finally taken its first bit of damage. 
So yeah, right about now, it will start taking a lot of damage. And in 3, 2, 1, and... We got it. Easy. Obviously, for the final version, we have to spot it in with wave 100 health, just like this. And this one has 18 million health. Obviously, we will not be able to do this amount of damage to it, but I guess we'll have to see. Hey, bro, plus it's even getting stunned as well. So yeah, it's literally getting by with over 90% of its health still, so yeah, GG's. That is officially all of the mythics, but now it's time for the exclusive and finally the godly. Here we go. Let's unequip all, and then re-equip the swap mutant toilet. But real quick before we get into it, let's talk about these stats. Obviously, be in version 1, 2, and 3 like almost every single other toilet, but again, failed to be version 4. Let's see if the swap mutant toilet can do any better though, here we go. Let's add money, man of Taj, and then a million gazillion. And honestly, we'll just instantly max out this guy right away. So yeah, just like that. But for the toilet that actually correlates with it, it's the police toilet. So yeah, there it is right there, and already we got it. Way too easy, bruh. Now let's do wave 10 health, like that. And already we got this one in 3, 2, 1, and there goes this one too. Finally for wave 100 health though, I actually have pretty high hopes that we will be able to get this one. We'll have to see obviously, but uh, yeah, let's just do one final time lapse of us trying to defeat it. Enjoy! And yeah, shocker, we are definitely not living all that. It still has 9 million health on it, but luckily we should still be able to get it just below 50%, just like that. But uh, yeah, we are obviously gonna unfortunately die to it. So uh, yeah, GG's. On to the final one, though. And yeah, unfortunately the SWAT toilet will only be version 1 and 2 of itself, but not version 3. But I'm definitely excited to check out the boss toilet now. So yeah, let's just equip it right away and finally test it out. So yeah, we'll just place it down right about here for now. And let's just spawn in boss toilet version 1 right away. So uh, yeah, there it is right there. It does have 10,000 health on it. So this guy's gonna be a little bit tougher to get for sure. So yeah, I'll just see you guys once it's finally taking its first bit of damage as well. So yeah, finally it's gonna get in range of it right about now. And it's absolutely gonna laser through it. In fact, it's already done 3, 2, 1, and there it goes. On to version 2 though, and we're gonna sell it and replace it a little bit better right about here and upgrade it. So yeah, there's version 2, and there's version 2 spawned in. So yeah, again, I'll just see you guys once it's finally taking its first bit of damage. But yeah, it will start taking its first bit of damage any second now. So uh, yeah, here we go. It's absolutely gonna get shredded through in 3, 2, 1, and we got it. On to version 3 though. There's version 3 spawned in, and we might as well just upgrade it right away to version 3 as well. So, uh, yeah, wish us luck. We're absolutely gonna shred through it though, and I didn't even have time to speak about it whatsoever. Now let's do version 4 though, just like this, and this guy has 200,000 health. Let's just max that out as well, and in 3, 2, 1, it's already gonna take damage, and we got it. Now let's spawn it in with version 10 health, just like this, and let's see if we can get it with 572,000 health on it. Honestly, I'm not worried whatsoever. In fact, yeah, there it goes right about uh, now. But finally, the final test. Wave 100 health with 22.965 million health. So yeah, let's see if we can take it out. It's definitely going to be very tough for sure. But honestly, with 60 range, I definitely think it could happen. We'll have to see though. At last, it's finally below 90%, 80%, 70%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 70 and, and dang, only 50% done and it's finally about to get on by. Definitely unfortunate, but I guess that's not too bad at all. Back to lobby for now. So yeah, that is pretty much every single toilet versus itself. If you guys found this video enjoyable, definitely make sure to leave a like and subscribe and watch another video while you're at it. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon though, and yeah, peace out everybody.